Well, I'm back again. And glad to talk to you. And I hope I'm not boring you. I'm doing my best not to. But anyway, you, you always have the freedom, after what we were talking about last week, you have the freedom not to look. So you'll exercise that freedom, I hope. Today I'm uh, talking about um, reincarnation, as again it's something that came up in our, uh, my earlier sessions with Shabaka. I, I never thought very much about that. Um, I, I think I, uh, in passing, I sort of accepted the notion of it, that it was interesting. But then it came up uh, in my sessions with Shabaka that it's part of the the journey of um, life on earth. But that is it's something that is um, voluntary, if you like. It's, it's never imposed on us that we always have free will. So nobody says to us, "Look, you must you must go back down there again." I say down there advisedly because we always think of earth as being below and um, the higher regions and, and above us. But um, it's um, the well when we think of um, life on earth as being part of the adventure that we are spirit beings and that we we come on earth uh, in, in order to ideally achieve growth and awareness of consciousness. Um, well, once I got into this and once Shabaka brought it up, of course, that it is a fact and that it is open to us to partake in the process of reincarnation, that it makes uh, great sense to me, and it made great sense to me immediately, of course, that the idea that we're not confined um, by the one lifetime. Uh, when you look at it, I think, you could see that, well, it would be a very unfair thing, you know, that so many people will come into it. And there's so many differences. Some people are disabled. Some people are suffering from all sorts of um, uh, difficulties with sight or hearing or uh, even mental disability. Uh, others have seem to have charmed lives. Everything seems to go absolutely without any problem for whatever for them, that they have plenty of money, they have exciting lives, they can have all the um, uh, relationships, type of relationships that they the wish for they can, that life can be like a continuing dance for them. And that would hardly make sense in the context of one lifetime, you know, that it should, should be so unequal and so unfair. The notion then that we could have continuing lives, that in other words, that um, whatever uh, we're trying to do with our life, that then we have the vehicle that we wish for in order to achieve that. Um, it doesn't actually mean that if we choose, say, to come in in some sort of disabled form, that it means that we're paying for uh, whatever we did in, in another lifetime and making retribution for it and punishing ourselves for it. It doesn't actually mean that at all just means that we choose whatever vehicle that we think can best help our purpose in this life, which is essentially to find that freedom that we've been talking about and uh, and, um, and, that's, and to free ourselves from the separation from, from the unconditional love, loving energy. Um, so it seems to be then, once we look at it in that way, that it's like a, a very simple idea. And we take away the thing that, the, the compulsory thing, like that some of the, the, the stuff that I've come across over the years say that it is something, you know, that it's like um, uh, 
of the a rigid rule uh, that we have to come back and to deal with things that have happened in the previous life. And my understanding from Shabaka that it isn't like that at all, you know, that that would of course be going into this notion of, of punishment, um, uh, which isn't part of and, and doesn't fit in with unconditional love. Uh, that we are essentially we're our own judges, and when we look at at, at our evolution, if you like, and maybe then we see, right, uh, it might help me to go back and just to live a particular type of life, perhaps to get into a particular type of environment. Um, uh, maybe. Um, uh, for example, uh, I, I might uh, choose, you know, in looking at myself I might see maybe that I was a bigoted sort of a person in a previous life, that I, I shut out all sorts of possibilities and opinions and made all sorts of severe judgments and so on. So I might, I might actually uh, come back into an environment exactly like that into a very bigoted environment, environment again to choose to be with people who are, who are like that. But uh, maybe though that something will happen during the, the lifetime that will open me up to a different ways of being and that I come across people who will, that I can see that they operate in that way and that that will help me to move beyond the limited boundaries of, of the way I was. Because one of the things that I, that I understand is that when we move on, uh, we carry with us our mindset and we tend to gravitate towards those who are of similar mindsets. And it seems to be that it, the more that, that you have people who have a, a similar mindset together, uh, and that there's no, no sort of uh, interaction with other groups, uh, then that it's harder to move out of that sort of uh, restricted mindset. But when we come into Earth, that we're faced with all sorts of different uh, ways of being, ways of thinking, different types of people and so on. The density of the physical world makes it uh, easier for that. In the, in, in the spirit world, you see, it's like everything is open. Um, and it's easy to see where one is coming from in terms of, of the way of being. But in the physical world, because of the density of it, it's not easy to see what sort of a person we're, we're dealing with immediately. That it, it allows a, a, a greater variety of the way of being. So I think that this seems to be part of the value of reincarnation, although uh, I think um, it's not a brave thing to do in a way to choose to come back, you know, but yet it's sort of, if it shortens the journey, it shortens the journey to, to where we want to get to, uh, well then it's, it's worth it I suppose. So, uh, but just to remind ourselves really that we don't have to do it that way. We can choose maybe uh, a longer route, one that takes uh, longer. Um, but eventually that will arrive anyway at the destination that to be, to destination which is to be ourselves truly, to free ourselves from that separation from our divine essence. So thank you again for listening to that and, um, and uh, we'll wait and have another chat maybe another day. Thank you.